Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I had to take a sip of water at that moment. It's Monday morning. It's the start of a new week, which means another week in my life for you guys. You guys have been loving my vlogs lately, which makes me so happy. My Athens vlog, if you haven't watched that, definitely go check that out after this one, moving out of my college apartment. And then I also just posted my New York City weekend in my life, touring apartments and hopefully finding the perfect one. And the reason I say hopefully is because today or tomorrow is the day I find out if I got approved for the apartment that I applied for. So hopes are high because I think I was the only one that applied for that apartment but um, I'm still nervous and I don't want to get my hopes up so I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. If I don't get this one, there's one other apartment that I toured that I loved, honestly a lot, but it just wasn't in the best location. Like this apartment I applied for is perfect and it's in the best location. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. This morning I just played with Finley because we got back from New York last night so I was excited to see him. And I've just been doing some computer stuff and I'm about to go to my mom's yoga class. <laughs> She's been waiting to find out if I was gonna go with her or not. <laughs> On Mondays, she teaches like a meditation class, I think is what it is. Um, and I definitely need some relaxation in my life, so I need to go. I don't like meditating. I'm not good at it, um, but I'm gonna go because it's my mom's class. And frankly, I have nothing to do today. So I wanted to get some sort of workout in. We'll start with this. I have a feeling we'll go to our favorite juicery after and get some smoothies, some ginger shots. Just a good vibe kind of day. It's beautiful out. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I'm a little sleepy this morning, so I'm gonna do some skincare. It always wakes me up and puts me in a good mood. I've been lately using this skin regimen from Proven Skincare because it's customized to my needs, like literally down to the humidity and the air around me. The condition of my skin, just everything. Ugh, that just wakes me up already. Everyone's on me about using SPF in the morning before I head out because I live in Florida. So I've been using this personalized um, moisturizer from Proven Skincare with SPF in it. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing what I can. A little lip balm, ready to take on the day. <laughs> Here's my little OOTD. I just got some underbed storage from Amazon. This set is from The Year of Ours. I'll link it below. I love it. And then I just threw over top this shirt from Free People I've had forever. It's just, it's more of like a meditation class. So I don't want to be full on like, hey, I'm ready for yoga, you know? Post yoga. <laughs> Feeling zen. <laughs> Woo, I was tripped. Did some meditation, she played the gong. Post yoga ginger shot. She's just gonna watch me do it. So it was all fun and games and I was all calm and zen after yoga. And then my realtor texted me and said basically I wasn't approved for the apartment that I wanted. <laughs> I basically had to just give them more evidence just because I am self-employed. They want to make sure that you can pay the rent. Um, so I just sat down for the last hour going back and forth, sending all these documents that they're wanting to see. So I'm hoping that I'll get some good news by the end of the day. If not, then it was clearly not meant to be because I'm giving everything they need and more. Some fun, exciting news. Brooke and I are last minute going to Lollapalooza. I'm so excited. It's this coming weekend. So I'm about to try on some things and figure out what I'm wearing to the festival. It's a four day festival, but we're only gonna go for three of the days because, well actually Brooke's going for four, so props to her. <laughs> I am obsessed with this dress and it's gonna be super hot, so this is perfect. There's a bag policy, so I have like a yellow clear fanny pack that I'm gonna use with some sneaks. This outfit's kind of fun. I don't know if I'm gonna be hot in the pants, but I really, really like it together. Listening to Miley Cyrus right now, this dress would be really, really cute and just comfortable and easy. Love. My mom made one of my favorite dinners. Rice and black beans. Yum. The best dinner ever. Decided to go on a golden hour bike ride. Hot girl bike ride. I was gonna go for a walk, but my feet hurt, or my left heel hurt for some reason, I don't know why. 
I really haven't been outside much today as much as I wanted to. So I wanted to get the last little ounce of sunlight. I've just been like sitting in front of my computer all day. Nature is so healing. Just got back from my bike ride feeling good. The fan's on. I just decided I'm gonna do the 30 day squat challenge. I don't know if this is exactly what it is, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 30 squats for 30 days. So well, let's get to it. Sunset tonight is gorgeous. Just did a little workout in the gym after. Got some LaCroix. About to put on some comfy clothes and Lainey and I are gonna FaceTime because we haven't chatted in a while. And she wants to hear about my New York trip and I just want to hear about her life, you know? So I'm gonna have a little FaceTime date. I feel like today has been kind of boring and I'm sorry, but that's just my life. What's up, girly? You want to see something? What? Really? Oh my god! Oh my god, this you, is so cute. you recreated the gallery while we. I have to. Go. <laughs> Guys, I'm FaceTiming Delaney right now and she recreated our gallery wall in her room. That's so cute. Delaney, that looks, oh my god, that literally looks just like it. I feel, oh, that makes me it's so cool. happy. It's so cute. Ah, love it. <laughs> it's nice and cozy in my room. Got a new episode of Gossip Girl to watch. Good morning, everybody. Today's quote, don't look back, you're not going that way. <laughs> so true. Gonna start my day off by listening to a coffee house playlist on Spotify. Filling this thing out, setting my intentions for the day. Getting dressed for the day. I'm gonna put on this little set from Beyond Yoga. I love sets like this, these little bike short sets because you can go on walks with them, you can work out in them, and they're also just super helpful for day to day, just getting things done, especially during the summer. It's so hot, I don't wanna wear leggings. Like yesterday wearing leggings was a lot for me. Back to the biker shorts. And here's the set on. It's so comfortable. I need to get back in the sun though. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my color. I think it's just being at home and I'm just used to, you know, chilling out and everything. I've just been so lazy. When I wake up in the morning, I just want to like lounge, which is great. It's good to relax. But then I find myself just being so lazy and not doing anything. So I'm getting started with the day. It's like 9.30. I'm gonna leave the house for a little bit and edit my video. I have a hair reduced spot because I just need to get out of the house and I just need to do things. And I've been waking up super early, but then I'm just like being lazy. So I started my day right, doing my doing well daily, putting on a little workout outfit. And we're gonna go get some things done. Got a couple meetings later. Brooke and I are recording an episode of Gals on the Go like a life updates one about my apartment hunt and everything and then a meeting with an interior designer actually putting on my sunscreen moisturizer oh i feel so much more refreshed all right about to head over to the juice spot might grab a latte or a juice or a ginger shot something and post up i'm hoping there's a table because it's gotten so popular so many people are always there um, I'm bringing a super secret piece of new Gals on the Go merch that I am so excited to release. So I'm not going to show you guys the front, but you get the idea. We're back now. I got a juice to go. My dad joined towards the end. He just walked in and we hung out for a little bit. I didn't finish editing my video, but I got a good bulk of it done. It was really fun to like relive the New York trip. Still waiting to hear if I got the apartment or not, but it's okay. Oh my God, I just got the apartment. I just got approved. The apartment's mine. Ah! Let's go. My realtor just texted me, you are officially approved, now you can celebrate. Oh yeah, uh-huh, I got the apartment, let's go, get to work. Woo, Finley, we got the apartment, yay, 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 yay. Oh, oh my god, oh, he's saying congratulations. Oh my god, this is so cute. Finley just like climbed up on me. <laughs> Oh, baby, yay! 
I was literally vlogging when I got the text. All right. All right. Let's do it. You, nice. She said, you are officially approved. Now you can celebrate. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I have an apartment! Yay! Yay! Oh, that's amazing news. Um, we're living in the Lower East Side. The unit I'm moving into has never been lived in because it was the model. So I think the lease starts mid-August. So I'll go sometime around then. Now I can like actually do more research and like get the dimensions and start looking at furniture and all that and I can tell because I'm literally meeting with the interior designer today so I can say hey I, this is my apartment. <sighs> Phew I was getting nervous there for a second they were really keeping me sweating. Oh my gosh exciting. Ah! About to record Gals on the Go I have some OG merch on right now with Brooke. She says hi. All right, Brooke, you're gonna kick us off. I will clap us in. Standby recording. All right, one, two, three. And Danielle, hello you guys. We have a great episode for you today. We're talking about life updates, answering your questions, just an overall catch up episode that I feel is very needed. Literally while Brooke and I have been recording, I Uber Eats Chipotle. Cause I was getting so hungry and when I'm hungry, I am hungry. And I just, it was timed perfectly. As soon as we were done recording, my Uber Eats was just approaching the door. Also, I saw someone made a TikTok, it was really funny. Like when they don't give you the black spoon from Chipotle, or the black fork, that was funny. I'm like so hungry. Oh my God. First bite, first bite, I need a bite. Mm. On a hot girl walk. Hello, so Brooke and I recorded an episode. I ate my Chipotle and then I met with my new interior designer, Sierra, and I just went for a little hot girl walk. I just like had been sitting at my desk for so long. I was like, eh. Um, so I actually fell asleep last night while I was watching Gossip Girl, the melatonin really got to me. So I'm gonna finish that episode. I might have to rewind a little bit actually. And I just got a package from Revolve. So I can't wait to open that while watching Gossip Girl. It sounds like an ideal time. And yeah, Gossip Girl is not the same, but I'm still enjoying it. Like you can't deny that. All right, change into my I Heart NY shirt. Me and my aunt got matching ones. I got a gray one though, so it's not as basic, you know? <laughs> my room's mess, and I think it's making me stressed. I'm just feeling a little anxious today, very overwhelmed. And I just keep like looking at everything and thinking of things I need to do and not doing them. I had a good start to the day. Then after I was on the computer all day, I was like, blah. But you know what? I'm just gonna show you the mess that is my room right now so that the next time I show you guys, it'll be a lot cleaner. <laughs> I am in between trips right now, so give me some slack. Yeah, this is just, this is just out of control. Okay, I unpacked my suitcase and I started packing for Chicago. So I just started putting everything in my packing cubes. Um, so that's why that's like that. I'm gonna bring this downstairs. Also did my desk, it's organized chaos. My dad and I are gonna go for a little golf car ride and grab some dinner to go. Parked the golf cart, we're at the marina, gonna walk to the dock. I purchased a kombucha along the way and then we're gonna go back and pick up dinner, but I wanted a kombucha for the ride. <laughs> Got the goods, got some random things to eat for dinner. Golf cart style. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! 
All right, we're gonna see how fast we can get this golf cart to go. 22, we'll take it. 21. Time to do my 30 squats of the day because I forgot to do them earlier. See, that's what I love about squats. You can do them wherever, whenever. 30. Hi. Brian says hi. Hello. 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 People really liked the quote that you said in my moving out of Athens vlog about like all these last, but there's a ton of new firsts coming or whatever you said. People liked it a lot. Yeah, that's good. I don't remember what I said, but that's good. Okay guys, so I'm on the phone with Ryan right now. I just muted it, but he was telling me how he needs to fold his clothes. And I'm like, that is such a new <laughs> ick. The thought of a guy folding well, his clothes. Really it's so funny. Oh, it was good? Yeah, it was really good. So are you just eating chicken right now? Yeah. <laughs> no sides, just chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Protein king. You're bad at. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I've had like five different outfits on today, but also I feel like that happens a lot in my vlogs. I just get bored, I change. I don't put everything in the laundry. If it, it was only warm for a couple of hours, I just put it back in my closet. Um, but I just got off FaceTime with Ryan and I'm just finishing up editing my New York City vlog. So it goes up tomorrow because I cannot wait for you guys all to see it. It's all about my apartment hunting process. So it's already up by the time you guys are watching this. Um, but I just had this thought and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so Ryan and I are long distance right now. Obviously we're both about to be living in New York City in the same area, like I really can't complain, but so I saw him last week in Athens obviously, which I was really thankful for. I didn't know if that was gonna be able to happen, um, but basically from last week, we weren't gonna see each other for six weeks. So it's been about a week, we have like five more weeks, maybe four more weeks, um, which kind of sucks, you know? It's That's a long time. But I don't know, in a way, I feel like it's kind of great for a relationship because, you know, missing each other is a good thing. And I feel like it's just gonna make it that much more exciting when we see each other in New York and we're like living life. Um, because we just FaceTime tonight and we, he's working in the day and I'm doing stuff in the day. And at night when we FaceTime or just talk on the phone, we just have so much to talk about. And I don't know, there's like a relit fire, if that makes sense. I know that sounds really, I don't know. It's just our phone calls have been more fun and flirty and we've been dating for two years. So like sometimes that kind of goes down. I feel like as you naturally start to date longer, that just happens. But I feel like it's kind of good for our relationship. And you know, as much as I wish he was here right now, it makes me so excited to see him and I get excited to talk to him on the phone at night. And it's just, I don't know, it's cute. And so if any of you guys are in long distance right now, I thought I would share my outlook because obviously there's days where I'm like, F this, I hate this, I just want to see him. Um, so. so I'm going to finish editing, I'm going to get in bed, I'm going to go to bed and then we're going to wake up early tomorrow. My mom and I want to start the day off right. I just don't have a routine at home right now and I was sharing that with you guys earlier but I just don't like it. So we're going to change that tomorrow, I'm going to change my mindset. Um, so I just want to start the day off right, so it ends right. Good morning! <laughs> Woke up. I was so excited to start the day off right. My mom and I were gonna go for a bike ride or the beach or just something. It's pouring rain. And I went to use my computer this morning to upload my video. And there's a dark gray screen. So now I'm using my brother's computer to talk to someone on Apple. And we've been trying all these things and I go, now it's making an airplane noise like it's working to do something. And she goes, oh boy, a prop plane or jet? Oh, well. <laughs> we're friends now. So that's where we're at right now. And I leave for Chicago on Friday, and the soonest that Apple can take me is Saturday. Yay! All right, I'm making my bed right now. <laughs> I just have to laugh. Like, I want to have a good start to the day. And here we are, but I'm kind of learning to just laugh at it, you know, and it's going well so far. Making my bed, gonna light my candle, gonna go take a shower so that when I get back from my shower, my room smells magical. And then we're gonna put on a cute little workout set that I put out for myself last night. I got it off of Revolve yesterday, you guys saw it. I just made an appointment with the Genius Bar tomorrow. They didn't have one today, but they have one tomorrow and I'm not leaving tomorrow, so it's okay. So I'm gonna go tomorrow. I just have a feeling they're either gonna wanna keep my computer or I'm gonna have to get a new one or, I don't know, I just feel like it's not gonna be this easy thing, but we're gonna try and have it be that. Um, because I want to be able to upload this video on Sunday 
So if this video is up late, that's why. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. But in a way, it's like, okay, Danielle, get off your damn computer and live in the moment. I wish it was nice out because I'd be like, oh, I'm headed outside for the day. Anyways, let's go shower. Actually, wait. I need to light a candle. Yay. All right, my room indeed smells amazing. Post shower, I put on the set from Beyond Yoga. I'll have it linked below. So comfortable, and they have other colors too. Shower, and Finley was like trying to get in, and he was already wet in the rain because we took him out. And my mom was like, can you just give him a bath while he's in there? So she handed me the dog shampoo, and Finley and I showered together. Crazy, I know. So my mom and I have been doing this thing where we dance in the morning before we start, the, or just any time of the day, if like if we're feeling icky, or just feeling like anxious or whatever it may be, we just put on two to three songs in the living room and dance, and it is crazy what it does for you. So we're gonna go do that now. All right, I found this amazing playlist on Spotify called Dance Party Best Hits, and I think we'll start with Play Time of Our Lives by Pitbull. This will be a good one to start with. Finley is so confused. Train! <laughs> Got a green smoothie. Alright guys, it's a lot later. I honestly have just been watching us scroll and chilling out. I'm headed to dinner with some of my friends. We're going to Alba. It's like our favorite, it's like our friend group restaurant. We always go there. It's so good, it's Italian. I'm really happy with the outfit, so I want to show you guys. Here's tonight's fit. Um, we're doing some black and denim look. Top is from Revolve. I love it so much. It's just a little halter moment. Jeans are from a gold day. I'll link them below. I just got them back from the tailor and she fit them to my waist perfectly. And they're just such a great straight leg jean. Dolce Vita heels, Balenciaga bag from the Luxie Club on Instagram. Check them out. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm with the girlies. Hi. We got pasta, what's new? Everybody, I've got some chocolate chip banana bread that Freddie's friend made, some berries, coffee. I've got Finley right here. Hi, baby, good morning. Oh, you're so precious. I'm about to hop on the phone with my interior designer that oh, I'm working right. with. Really? Yeah, I decided to work with an interior designer for my apartment in New York because. I have never furnished an apartment in my life. At UGA, we always had furniture. And you know, I was thinking about it. And then this lovely gal, Sierra, reached out to me and said, hey, I'm an interior designer. Thought I'd shoot my shot and reach out to you if you wanna work together. And I FaceTimed with her earlier this week. We hit it off right away. She was so perfect. She knows exactly what I want. And so today we're having a design consultation. Got all the measurements. So we our goal is to maximize space and storage, obviously. But also I'm going for like a luxe spa feel. Very relaxing, chic at the same time, but I just want my space to be a very relaxing space for me. That's kind of my goal. I'll have her um, info linked below, but her name's Sierra Belanja. She's amazing. I'm so excited to keep working with her. And I close the door because my brother likes to blast music in the morning. He's training for soccer. I, that's where I'm kind of stuck, you know, because in the staging they had a small round table that was low. My mom mentioned the idea of a high top, or I know people can purchase islands. Um, yeah with bar stools and then sometimes in islands you get more storage i don't know how much more storage i need in my kitchen i want my couch to be comfortable my four years in college i hated my couch so much i want a comfortable couch that can see a good amount of people perhaps an l shape because then if someone did sleep over they could sleep on the l part i don't know these are the things yeah. i think about couch and chair coffee table um and then there is like this perfect little nook to put like a entertainment center or whatever you call it um, yeah. to put the TV on versus putting it on the wall. Not really like for one or the other. Um, okay. But really that's it. Ta you know, table, coffee chair, or coffee, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the basics, I don't think. Yeah, and then a mirror. Um, yeah. A big mirror. All right, just finished my meeting with Sierra. It was so, oh my God, she's gonna be so excited. She just thinks of things that I never would have thought of. 
like she was like okay yeah we can put a mirror in your bedroom but you have to think about when your door opens so the wall will be a little bit smaller so we need to do a skinny mirror just little things like that like do your closet doors open or do they slide oh they open okay well for your nightstand i just i give props to her because these are things i would think of and this is why people work with interior designers especially because i'm just all over the place and she's gonna help me Coordinate when everything's delivered because I am out of state. So there's just a lot more to be done I think she's even gonna come into the city once I'm up there with my mom moving in and kind of just help get everything together Help us find bedding like go shopping. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. She's just a couple years older than me So I'm just so excited to work with her and we were talking She's like do you like the look of layering rugs? And I said yeah, I do like I don't know interior design like I like to think I have good style but when it comes to interior design i've never done it so i'm really pumped about that i can't wait to take you guys on that journey i'm literally in my eye heart and my shirt have a big day because i am headed to chicago tomorrow morning brooke and i are going to Lollapalooza. i think i said earlier in this vlog so i kind of have all of my outfits planned for the most part but i need to pack a suitcase and then we have a little beach photo shoot tonight with michaela rose photography um, I've been following her for years. She actually took my brother and his friends like senior photos from high school at sunset um, I'm really excited. I might even get in the water for a couple of photos. This makes me so happy when you guys tag me in your um, Ginger shot stories got two this morning. I literally just took one myself. I forgot to film it Just did some packing loving the packing cubes. My dad just came over and we're about to go for a walk with Finley, um, I thought it'd be fun to have a walking buddy today. He can come on my hawker walk. Wearing this little Nantucket t-shirt. I've never been. I really want to go, but my dad went and got me this shirt. Um, Nike shorts. My favorite Nike super rep sneakers. They're so comfortable. I will link them below. Let's go. Finley, you want to go for a walk? Dad, you want to go for a walk? Want to go for a hot girl walk? You're so cute. Oh, he is ever. He smells so good. Have you noticed since I washed him yesterday? And he's soft. I feel so college right now. Little t-shirt, Nike shorts, tote bag. All right, guys. <laughs> Left with a new computer. <laughs> I just knew this would happen. Um, basically, a lot of you guys told me this on Instagram too. They would have to ship it off for six to eight weeks. How would I edit videos? And it would be insanely expensive it's a software or a hardware problem they said and they'd have to replace my screen which would cost a lot of money it was about four hundred dollars more to get a new computer so here we are i had that computer for two years but it's my job <laughs> and i can't even wait a week without a new computer so i did this for you guys okay <laughs> um i am i'm excited i mean i guess you know gotta go home and set it all up and then I also finally got an external hard drive. I never used to do that. If you make YouTube videos, you know, like so many people use them. It's basically so that not everything's stored on my actual computer. It's on the hard drive. And I've been needing to do that. And I bought a new iPhone charger because I have the little thing you like put it on. But sometimes if I need to be on my phone while it's charging, that's not ideal. And just for travel, it's a little easier to have a cord because you can plug it in on the plane and stuff too. So that just happened. Hi girls. <laughs> it was fun. I always like going technology shopping with my dad. I feel like Best Buy is our place. Like if I go to Best Buy, I'm like, hey dad, you wanna come? We are now checking out the restoration hardware outlet because it's been here for a little bit and I've never been, so I'm excited. This place is huge. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Restoration Highway Outlet well, was cool. Um, it had some really pretty pieces in that bed frame that I really liked, like $4,300. So, absolutely not. Um, but that was discounted too, that's crazy. Spotted, Danielle eating salad with dressing. It's just balsamic. MacBook unboxing. <laughs> I cannot believe this, you guys. So I got the silver one. So beyond thankful because I really don't know what I do without it. Um, oh wow, we love that sound. And here we've got the charger, I assume. Wow, oh wow. I actually really like this background too. We got it all set up. Actually, I think I still need to connect to my iCloud, but we're good. Guys, I just received the sweetest little gift in the mail. I'm crying. 
Daily sent us all Hill Hall shot glasses. This is this is amazing. It's a picture of us from our grad picks. All of my homemates. This is so sweet. We're having quinoa. bowls tonight. This quinoa is or quinoa or rice. Or a bow. This is beautiful, mom. Great spread. Had dinner, got ready. We're about to head over to the beach. I'm so excited doing a beach photo shoot with Michaela Rose Photography. I'll have her Instagram right here. I'm so excited. So the first look we're doing is just jeans and a tank. And then I'm bringing like a tan bandeau. And I'm gonna put that on. And she got a bouquet of flowers for me to hold. And it's gonna look like I don't have a shirt on. Crazy. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be one look. And then the other look, she wants me to wear a flowy dress. I'm gonna wear this one that I have from Revolve. It's super flowy, super cute. At the end, I am so down to get in the ocean and like have the bottom of my dress be wet. She also suggested a hat. So that'll be the second look. I'm so excited to meet her in person. I've followed her for so long. She actually took my brother's senior friend group photos ages ago. And I think she shot with like Morgan Yates and all them in LA one time, but she lives here in Florida. I'm gonna head over now. I'm literally just wearing slides because I assume I'm gonna be barefoot. So hopefully that's the case. Here's the fit, just super simple. White ribbed tank top, jeans from a Goldie, the same ones I was wearing last night. Okay, so I'm here with Michaela. Guys, look at her trunk. It's just full of goodies. Like, look at all these beautiful props. I love it. The flowers. We've got, so she's now a florist. I'm now a florist. That was beautiful. Did you pick everything out yeah. and put it all together? Publix. Really? I'm mm -hmm. shocked. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, so cute. I've never the, done it before, oh. girl. Oh my God, I'm so pumped to shoot. Yay. Yeah, I've this never is pretty. Whoa, hi birdies. <laughs> all right, you guys, we just got some insane photos. Like, I can now wait for you guys to see them. Like, Pinterest goals. Like, I don't say that a lot, but like, it really was. Here's the next outfit, don't mind the purse. We've got a whole luggage. Headed to the Hamptons, don't text. <laughs> There's another caption, we've been coming up with captions. So fun, look at that wheat. <laughs> wheat, headed to the beach. Oh, it's my favorite time of day. <sighs> we just finished, we're both wet. <laughs> but it was worth it. Guys, the bottom of my dress is soaking wet. But that was the goal. <laughs> I feel so badass. <laughs> What's up? Oh my god, guys, guys, this might be my favorite photo. I don't even think you're. Guys, I'm unwell. <laughs> Michaela, killing it. <laughs> Whee! Photo shoot was so much fun. I haven't done anything like that in a very, very long time. I used to do photo shoots all the time and I just don't anymore, but that one was really cool. Go follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, if you want to see what's up i am like over the moon and it was so nice to go to the beach i haven't been to the beach all week i haven't done anything florida e i've just been in my room so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like lots of exciting things happened today the last day but i'm ending it here because we go going to chicago tomorrow brooke is already there she just got there she's just like sending me videos of the hotel and i'm so excited the outer banks um season two comes out tomorrow and so we're gonna like order room service and watch it in the room tomorrow i'm so excited oh, we're going to lollapalooza it'll be a fun time and there will be a vlog of course and we're recording an episode of gals on the go together in chicago it's going to be iconic so I'm so pumped, but I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.